sign of hot execution more than anything here. Oh well. Just, just need to remember. Need to get my, my thinking engaged there. Worst comes to worst, if I have just like a single DDT leak, I can just use abilities on it and everything and it should be okay. In fact, I should probably be saving up a clock there. It's an interesting one. But yeah, I, um, in terms of everything to do with uh, auto battlers as such, I think they're great. I love auto battlers. I would highly recommend people check them out more often than not. But I, if I was to recommend one back before Battlegrounds made its changes, I would have recommended Battlegrounds to a new player because TFT is harder to learn. I think that TFT is a better auto battler, but I think that TFT is complicated, right? And TFT changes all the time, whereas Battlegrounds is a little bit simpler to learn. It's a little bit easier for players to kind of get into it. But now with its free to play changes and everything here, um, well, it's free to pay now. I would probably recommend TFT, just because it's overall better. And you know, if you, you put in the hard yards there and you learn it, it, it's like one of those games where you either love it or you just you don't really get it, and so you just don't play it. Change is not as bad, and if you want to win, it is though. But what if you want to win? Is something you used to get for free that gets taken away. There's no, there's no worse feeling than that though. Like for a newer player coming in, it's probably fine, right? Because they don't know what they were missing out on. But like as somebody who knows what they were like actively missing out on before, that sucks. Yeah, like as I as I said there, Cubby. If if people knew that from the start, like if people didn't know that from the start there, then you know it's like it's like whatever, right? It's, People don't know what they're missing out on, but since people now know what they're missing out on, type that out while you were talking. Yeah. Tickets. So yeah, I've uh, I've been like I just treat Hearthstone as like a nice little casual brain filler sort of a game there where I don't want to have to think about like playing a new game all that much. So I, what do I do? I just plop in some uh, plop in some arena there for a game or two. Good times were had by all. Look at me, growing to appreciate the casual, the casual game style. I also, like, because I have the golden card back, right? So the golden card back, for those who don't know, is like only one that's given out to players with like significant achievements. So uh, a while back I earned the golden card back by being a part of the, com the uh, competitive scene and everything there. Um, and I had the, the I had the golden card back on there naturally, and just going into a like arena with it, I felt so dirty. I, it felt so wrong because I mean, like I haven't I haven't played the game in at least a good year or so. It felt just wrong to have it on there, so I had to immediately take it off. It off. Don't wear that thing. Cause there's no worse feeling than a noob beating you in arena and seeing like that golden card back and you're just like, I don't deserve this. <laughs> I don't deserve this thing that I'm wearing on me right now. I'm not worthy. But yeah, uh, fun fact is I'm actually, uh, I got invited to a, uh, a CCG, uh, tournament this weekend. A new CCG, I cannot remember for the life of me what it was called though. What is it? Oh, Infinity Wars. I got invited to, uh, Infinity Wars Classic. Uh, they're having a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a 
tournament there and everything, and I was like, yeah, you know what, sure, I'll, I'll end up giving it a good old shot there, because, why not, what's CCG? Collectible card game. So I got, I got that offered to me and everything there, and I was just like, yeah, yeah sure, why not, I mean, you know, it could be fun. So like, I'll stand, yeah. I mean, that's, I think, I'm pretty sure that's why I got invited, right? CCG or online, CCG can be IRL. Well, I mean, trading cards can also be online as well. But as we've seen, like, the newer wave of things here, uh, most game companies are choosing to go over the Hearthstone route because they have more control over, you know, the value of a card there. You know, for, like, example, a rare is going to stay rare until the end of time there unless they make a change to it. There's a difference. Card games that aren't TCGs. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll end up doing that, that this weekend here. Um, yeah. So it makes them more money because people spend more on packs rather than just buying the good cards off someone. Yeah, exactly. Like, Hearthstone. Hearthstone would have made a ton of money off of, like, pre-releases now, right? The craziest bit is that Hearthstone is like eight years old at this point. The game is eight years old. And sure, its popularity uh, has probably taken a bit of a dip in terms of everything there. But you think of like eight years of releasing, a, uh, releasing an expansion every four months there and the amount of people that like pre order that and everything. You're making a lot of money off of a, like, it's a live service here. And this is uh, something interesting, is that a lot of game companies have moved to this here as well. Because it means that you don't necessarily have to make a new game. You just have to provide more content to that game there. And you can get a lot more money out of it, right? That's why we see a lot more game companies not making newer games. Because, you know, it's just cheaper for them to just update the live service models that they've got. kind of interesting. Do I necessarily think that it's the bestest? Mm, no. But do I acknowledge it as a thing that exists? Well, I mean, I can't not acknowledge it. <laughs> like, what? Well, can I just like close my eyes and go like la, la 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 I can't see you, I can't see you, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. I mean, I wish there were some times that I could do that. I wish there were some times in the, uh, in the gaming scene that I could do that. Last friend to send me a Daglas, would you try to climb a legend with? And what did you end up going for? Didn't send you the list yet? Like, as in, like, standard here, or what? Why did I press this button of all things? Why did I press the good button here when there's, like, so many better buttons to press there? No one goes to time with me, my friend? I do, I do, I do. Um, send me a message later on tonight so I can actively like remember it because there's a lot that's on my mind and uh, I just need to like try to you know narrow it down wild oh, I, I'd offer you something <laughs> I'd offer you something uh gristle but I'm not sure that it would actually climb you to legend you know I'm, I'm afraid that it may have the opposite effect it may actually send you down the ladder rather than up the ladder it would send you twirling 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 towards freedom I will say though, like writing it, <laughs> I used to be like one of those people that like the self-help videos there, the self-help videos are like, you should write things down so that you can, you know, actively think about what you have to do the next day. And I'm like, dude, writing's for nerds. Who would do that? 
And then there's me just like stressing out over like, oh my god, I keep forgetting what I have to do. And then I actually tried it and I'm like, oh, wow, dude, this takes so much stress off. Yeah, Wild Quest Mage is actually legitimately good. It is also inherently a very, very unfun deck to play against. It made you quit wild? Understandably so. It's like, oh, what's the counterplay here? Oh, you just... You just don't... Don't get hit by it. Just don't. Just don't let them complete the quest when they have literally two ice blocks there and you, you have literally infinite... <laughs> you have literally infinite solid alibis now as well. Disruption Druid, I thought it's interesting. Shadow Walk is definitely solid. usually loses to it though uh yes yes it does because it just can't get through the ice blocks there unless you're playing something that needs secrets it's just an all-around solid deck just a you just need to just provide enough pressure to it so that it can't get enough time to set up right but like a lot of decks in wild are somewhat dirtily have been interested in making your own TCG. There's a lot of resources that go into making some half decent games though. And I, I feel the the only problem with that chemo is that I mean I trust me, I love the idea behind it. But it's hard to find your niche in the market at the moment when, you know, the TCG boom happened and everything and everyone was like, yo, TCGs are kind of a or a uh, you know, uh, CCGs are kind of like a big deal, right? Whenever Hearthstone exploded in popularity. Uh, that it is very difficult to end up trying to find your own corner of the market there. You know, for example, uh, Raynad, uh, a, you know, a form of a big deal in Hearthstone there, uh, was making the Bazaar, or is still making the Bazaar. I don't know what's happening with it still. Um, but has like gone through multiple revisions because you know slay the spire came out and pretty much did what he was doing but better there and uh you know <laughs> it, it's hard at the moment because people have such high expectations for it as well and your game kind of lives and dies off of its uh off of its base on your mother plays Lothar, which fucks over Quest Mage. Quest Mage is good, but it's definitely not tier one. The thing is that while there's so deep that there's like, there's just a whole bunch of powerful things that you can be doing, and all of them like are definitely viable and can steal games, but it's like which ones can steal the games most consistently, I feel is kind of the best way of describing Wild. It's not a good thing. everyone playing midrange shaman in standard i'm pretty sure the worst one was everyone playing evolve shaman you're going into top 30 legend with wild earth only a low tier 3 deck i mean people be like yo big priest kind of shit though <laughs> but then you play against big priest and you're like damn this deck is kind of degenerate though TCG is your favorite genre of this game? What I thought were what the genres you thought of when you were a kid? See, if only enough, like, as somebody who, um, I didn't actually play a ton of RPGs back in the day, but I was, you know, like, I was this sort of kid that would, like, you know, kind of, like, draw out his own RPG sort of a thing, uh, just for, a, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit of a giggle here and there, you know? funny song. Oh my god. Oh, we 
did it! Let's go! I finally did it even though I screwed up. That can be a lot better though. But I'm happy with that, honestly. Oh, it's finally done. Ay, 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 that sucks.